The Princess and the Dragon. This is a story of a princess, but don't be fooled. She is not waiting there for a prince charming to save her. She's different. She has a warrior spirit. A long time ago, Queen and the King longed for a child, so they visited the enchanted forest in search of the wish-granting unicorn. Oh, great, great unicorn. unicorn! We, we have, have come, come to seek your blessings. blessings. Please bless, bless us, us with, with a baby. baby. May you be blessed with a girl child who will light your world with happiness. The unicorn granted them their wish, and very soon the kingdom got their princess. The queen and the king were overjoyed. Oh, my baby! I name you Violet. Mwah. Princess Violet! Princess Violet! Yay! Princess Violet! Princess Violet! <laughs> princess was taught all the warrior skills just like a prince. Horse riding, sword fight, how to defend herself and more. She regularly exercised and followed a healthy diet. The king's family lived in peace and harmony until one day a secret messenger of the king brought news that their neighboring kingdom had broken the peace treaty and was about to attack their kingdom. The whole kingdom was worried as they did not have enough army to fight. The king had not been keeping well. Princess Violet heard the queen speaking to the king. We must seek help from King Tom. His army can help us, and we can win the war. I don't see any hope. Our enemy's army is quite strong. Even King Tom's army cannot help us. We must at least try. You are right, my queen. I will leave tomorrow morning. <coughs> but father, you are not keeping well. I will go and bring the army. I trust my daughter. Let her go. All right, princess. In my absence, the army must be prepared for any attack. Chief, I leave the responsibility of the king and the queen on you. Surely, princess. So the princess carried her sword and her shield, sat on her horse, and set off for the journey. She's on her way, she stopped over in a village. A villager told the princess of a very strange thing. You cannot go to the other side of the mountain. A fire dragon lives on the mountain in a cave. She will gobble you up when you try to pass her cave. And no brave men or soldiers have come back from there. <laughs> I fear nothing in this world. I will cross the mountain, no matter what it takes. The dragon had lived there for thousands of years, but no one had seen her. Her hot breath has burned the earth near her cave, and nothing grew there. The brave princess decides to handle the dragon without weapons. Dragon, I have brought you flowers. Would you let me stay in your cave tonight and leave for my journey tomorrow? For I have to save my kingdom, otherwise this country will be in the hands of the cruel. The dragon lowered her head and sniffed the bouquet. She was so moved by the gift, she smiled at the princess. Fiona, you are very fierce, just like me. You are the first person who has ever been kind enough to give me a gift. Be my guest. At night, she tells the dragon about her story. Next morning, 
the princess leaves the cave and promises to come back after two days on her way back. Honorable King Tom, our kingdom is in danger. We need your army. Won't you help us? <laughs> Foolish girl. My army is going to attack your kingdom too. Now you will watch your kingdom burn. The king captures her and keeps her in a tower. I should not have trusted you. Let me out. The day I come out, you will regret this. <laughs> Little did the king know what he was about to witness. Fiona, here! Yeah! Girl power! Fiona growls at the king in anger and blows fire in the air. The king and his army all kneel in front of her. The princess locks up her uncle and commands the army to reach the castle. Let's go, Fiona! Dear princess, we have never met such a brave princess like you. We shall fight your enemies with you! Princess Violet comes back to her castle with the army. So she saves the kingdom, the king, the queen, and the army chief. The king tells the princess that their men had all run away, but only the army chief stayed back to fight and got captured. Well, Peter, have you thought about what you want as a reward? It is not I, but the princess has saved all of this kingdom and us. I am in awe of her and admire her courage and bravery. I would love to marry the princess if she agrees. What do you say, my girl? Please, Dad, I'd like that very much, for he has kept his word without fearing for his life. You get the princess and half the kingdom because you've been so brave. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yay! Yay! We love it! Peter and Violet got married and they lived happily ever after. They together ruled over the kingdom. And wait, what about the dragon? Well, Fiona went back to her cave, which was her natural habitat, and never harmed anyone. She grew flowers around her cave and lived happily with the baby dragons. <laughs> ¶¶